Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss a stream API question. So in this question, we need to extract messages from a list of string and that also in chronological order. So we have a format given and according to that, we have our strings. As you can see, it is an HH, MM, ID and message format. And we need to like uh, fetch an output where the messages are coming out based on chronological order. So we have database connected. That is the first message because that happens around 1429. Then we have user logged in. Then we have server started and then we have user logged out. But there's uh, one thing that you have to uh, consider that is in case if there is similarity in the timestamp, as you can see in the first and the second one, it is 1430 for both. Then in that scenario, we have to check like which has the least ID and that gets printed. Okay, so in this case, how user logged in got printed. So that is all we need to do. So HH represents 24 hour format, MM 059 and ID is a numerical identifier and we have the message. Okay. So Let me call it log one, log two. And uh, what I'm planning to do is as we have a list of string, we are going to convert those string into array of string. Let's call it part one. and colon is one via which we can have the separation made. So now we have uh, like indexes like separated by colon. So as we are comparing two strings at once, so the second one also the same thing has to be done. Now we need to compare each and every part that is HH part has to be compared with the other HH of the string of the other string. So everything needs to be separated out. So for that reason, R1. So I am doing an integer dot parse int because uh, we have an array of strings, right? And I need to make a comparison. I need to make a comparison of a number, right? And right now we have in this format. So that is why I'm converting it into integer so that I can just have an easy comparison. So this represents my HH part of the string array. And I need to do the same thing for minute and ID. So this will be my first index and this will be my second index. This represents MM, this represents ID. So basically all uh, these different index, this is for the zeroth one, this is for the first one, this is for the second one and this is for the third one, right? So this is what we did for part one, that is for the first message, for the first string. So we need to do the similar thing for the second one. Let's just make it two, two. All right, now we can start with the comparison. So if you understand about how this compare works, suppose we have nine and 10. So in such a scenario, we will be getting a minus one as the previous 
uh, parameter is less okay and if we have 10 and 9 in this case we will be getting a 1 and that is how we sort it and in case if they are equal we get a 0 right so that is how we like compare or use this utility function now we need to do the same thing for minute okay so we are doing a comparison in case the hours and minutes are different so in case it happens that they both are same then we need to return id2 so up until this point, we are done with sorting the HH, MM and ID part. So we have to work next on fetching the message. So for that, map will help us with that transformation. Log.split. We will put a limit. This. Let me return this as a list of string. Now why we have given a limit of 4 here is because uh, we are splitting our string based on colon and it might happen that we might have a colon by mistake in a message then we won't get the proper message and uh, so we want to put a stricter limit that we need 4 divisions strict 4 divisions right so that is the reason that we put a limit for the third index that is message and let's check it. So the first one should be database connected and we are getting it. User logged in, yes. Server started and user logged out, great. Let's discuss the approach too as well. Again, we use start, sorted and We are using comparator dot comparing and and you have to take a log how we did in the first case and log dot split. and assign it as 0th index okay yeah so we have a log and we are assigning it as a 0th index then we are going to use then comparing so if you might have noticed this became an object right when I typed then comparing but when I don't have then comparing it is a string okay so what we need to do here is we need to explicitly mention string here because with then comparing a little inference trouble comes into the picture so let me just strictly write string log just for explicitly inferring that and then because we need uh, to uh, we need to have a string that's why we did this and comparing
so this is for HH we did this is for MM and then we will do it for ID okay this is for HH zeroth MM and this has to be for ID I think we need to close this and now for the message Okay, but uh, we need to handle one condition that is uh, HH and MM are going to be two digit as we are following the 24 hour format but with ID it can be a possibility that I may have to compare something like uh, 09 and 10 right like right now in this example we just have a single digit ID but it can happen that uh, like it can be a multiple digit ID right so maybe it will be something like 23 and 9 yeah I think that's a better example so what would happen is uh, since right now it is a string and uh, if I compare these two I should be getting a one but I get a minus one right and why I get a minus one is because uh, as it is a string so the ASCII value of each and every character will be calculated so first it will be calculated for two for this string and it will be calculated for nine for this string and as you know as two is a smaller number than nine the ASCII value of two is less than nine so it will understand that this number this as 2 is smaller than 9 it will just straight away return a minus 1 saying that this number is smaller but that is not the case right we are dealing with 23 and 9 and we want a comparison between 23 and 9 not 2 and 9 so for that reason we need to have this section the ID have should be considered as integer so we need to do integer dot parse int I think it will be done here mm, no no I think it's fine uh, right so hoping you understood that why for this we needed to do whereas what happens in HH and MM like as I was showing for uh, 09 and 10 what would happen is uh, as again the ASCII value of each character will be read so 0 is uh, 48 I guess so 48 will be there for 0 and uh, it will start reading for this particular string and it will start with 1 so 1 is 49 and 0 is less than 1 so we will get minus 1 which is kind of correct right and it will stop it won't go further so anyway it is correct so uh, that is one understanding on why like specifically we need to write for integer dot parse int and uh, okay let's just check this ordered message when and we are getting the same output 
user logged in okay now let me just add something more with the same timestamp and let me make this zero right so this should be before user logged in so what should i give booting up okay so booting up should come up first right uh, before user logged in i mean after database connected i should have booting logged up yes and that is what i'm getting okay so this is the solution and i hope you understood this thank you so much for watching let's catch up in the next video